All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing. And after we get it all unboxed and set up, I'll do a quick review of the, and I believe it's pronounced Lavoite, and it's a air purifier. So we already have one of the Core, I think it's the Core 600. I'll have to double check the model number, and I'll include that in the comments. But we already have an, another version of a air purifier uh, from the same company. And after using that for a little while and seeing the results on the filter, we decided to get another one separate for the kids' room. So I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing. All right, first thing I notice here is the instructions right on top. And we'll look at those later. And let's go ahead and pull this thing out. All right, so I got it out of the box. And first thing I notice is this first use. And basically it's just giving you a heads up that, hey, the filters are inside the box, but you need to take the filters out and pull the plastic off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. First pulling the plastic off the unit itself. And then we'll go ahead and open her up and see what's inside. And again, plenty of warning like, hey, Make sure you do this. So now I'm going to figure out where. All right. Dust sensor, all that. That's great. Flip it around. Oh, easy. The back just pops right off. And the filters come out, and they are indeed plastic wrapped. We'll go ahead and we'll get the plastic pulled off. So I just wanted to share one of the first things I noticed. Of course, it's got the activated charcoal filter. This is a little different compared to most charcoal filters that I've ever seen. It actually has little bits and pieces of charcoal in here. It's not just like an infused filter. So that goes inside and it's supposed to reduce things like smells and odors. So that's kind of fun. Uh, primary reason that we're looking at this and what reason why we purchased is really more so like dog dander. Um, pet dander, and then, you know, uh, spring and summer allergies, which springs just around the corner, so great timing, right? All right, and then I've got the HEPA filter here. You see the inside. It also has the pre-filter here on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in. And then basically from here, we just go ahead and close up the door. Oh, magnetic. So, super easy. That's really, really easy. And then you can see it's got the air intakes on the side and the air exhaust on the top. And we'll go ahead and get this plugged in and running. All right, I just plugged it in. And while this turns on and gets all set up here, I'm also going to share one of the reasons that we like this brand in particular was the first one that we purchased has the app built right into it so i can actually say hey google turn the air purifier up to five and it'll turn it up to max so i'm going to go ahead and turn on this air purifier and you can see it's trying to make that connection there so i'll sign into the app off the video here and get that all set up but it's running right now and you can barely hear it at all. Turn it up a level. Now you can hear it. But on the slowest, you could barely hear anything. So very, very quiet especially at the lower speeds. And then you can also turn and lock the display and put it into a sleep mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all connected and paired up with the app that comes along with it. All right, so I got everything all up and running and synced up and I can go ahead and turn on the air purifier right there. I can click into it. Let me know what the air quality is. I can also control the speed.
I'm going to click into here. And the app will show you exactly what you have left for filter life, give you instructions on changing the filters. And, and you can purchase the filters right through the app as well. Uh, same thing with you know Best Buy, Amazon, etc. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click Done. I'm hit Cancel because it's brand new. I guess I actually have to hit Back. My bad. Um, so it lets you know what the air quality is in the room. That does change over time. We've been cooking dinner and burning food and all of a sudden uh, because we had an automatic mode it will kick the fan speed up and help pull some of the stuff out of the air so uh, the other thing I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna turn the display off and because I do everything with the app or through Google anyways so there's no reason to even have the display on on our other air purifier I even have it locked so that the kids don't play with it, which I can also do in here, I believe. I'm brand new to this specific one. Display options. Yeah, stay the same. So don't change anything there. Um, on our other air purifier, it actually lets you lock the screen, which is kind of nice. Um, but this one doesn't appear. It just looks like it turns the screen off. But otherwise, that's basically the basic functions. It's The app's super easy. Google Home connects right into it. That's typically how I use it. So um, other than that, I normally keep it in automatic or sleep mode, which keeps it very quiet. Just a very slight hum, but you can feel the air coming out of the top. So that's, that's basically it.